So we kind of have three spots, Jasmine. I kind of, this is all my invention. I've never formally trained in chair yoga, but I kind of think of it in three spots. So there's the furthest out spot where you're perched on the edge of your chair, and that's where we do the asana and the moves and the vinyasa. There's about a middle place where we do the pranayama, and then there's a place all the way back with your hands on either on your legs or on the arms where we do the relaxation. So for now, come to your middle spot. That allows you to have your feet on the floor. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. Let your shoulders slither down your back. Take any wiggles that you need to take. Smile your face a little bit, just to kind of tell your nervous system that this is what we're doing. We're gonna do something good for you. We're gonna make you happy. We're gonna make you serene and calm. Wiggle your toes on the floor and then connect to the floor. So connect to whatever's underneath your toes, texturally. I have a rug underneath my toes, I can feel it. I know that under there is some hardwood and then I know that under there is a foundation. And then I know that under that foundation is the earth. And so I like to think about that all the way through, down the structure to the earth. And then think about the earth is the thing that creates gravity and then let gravity take your body. So we exist in this constant tension, sort of, as we live in this constant kind of pull, push and pull, rest and work from gravity. And so feel the gravity now. You're resisting gravity with your belly muscles. You're keeping yourself upright. So feel that. Feel what you, how you have to resist gravity to keep your head up. Otherwise, it would just fall. So the neck muscles are slightly energized, but everything else can be very soft. Soften your feet, soften the tips of your fingers, soften the backs of your hands. And let's do a little bit of astronaut breath for this morning, just to begin to move into parasympathetic tone. We're gonna do a short inhale, three, three counts through your nose. Hold for four counts. Close your eyes and exhale for seven or eight. And these counts are up to you. We're gonna do some fancy stuff here with these. So first establish your rhythm. Whatever your inhale is, three seconds or three counts is a good rhythm. But enough to fill up your lungs and then hold enough to comfortably hold. And Sarah asked me a really good question the other day. She asked if the holding was, um, could be harmful. And the answer, which I think I gave then, and, and I'll give it again now, is that it's not harmful as long as it doesn't involve struggle. So find that, that hold that you can do without struggle. It might be shorter than mine, it might be longer than mine. Find the one you can do without struggle and still exhale for six or seven or eight counts. So take a few more rounds to get into whatever your rhythm is. Minus three, inhale, four or five, hold, and seven or eight, exhale. And just for anyone who's new, I call this astronaut breath because it was invented by NASA for the use of the astronauts to reduce anxiety in space. And if you've seen the movie Gravity, you know about anxiety in space. I think it can be quite high. So I figure it's going to work back here on the Earth as well. Take those long exhales. And now we're going to start to play with our inhale. So as you inhale for those three counts, roll your shoulders up like an elevator up to your ears. Hold. And then as you exhale, drop them down as if they're on an elevator. And when you get to the bottom floor, your entire body is as soft and heavy as it can be. So I'm inhaling one, two, three. I'm holding, I'm thinking, I'm identifying places in my body, I'm counting, and then I'm exhaling long and slow and easy and softening. The shoulders come down gently, 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 controlled, but heavy. And at the bottom, the shoulders are heavy, the toes are heavy, the hands are heavy. Let's do three more rounds.
And the purpose of this is to engage the mind as you exhale. You can use a little bit of that holding time as well, but to figure out what you can let go, what you can soften before you have to inhale again. As you hold your breath, scan your body, figure out what you're going to soften, and then exhale, soften. The ability to fully soften our bodies is such a yogic thing and such a nervous system necessity. Notice when you breathe in, there's probably tons of tension in your toes, your fingers, your, certainly your shoulders, your belly, and probably your face. And then as you exhale, erase that as if you're pouring a bucket of hot water, or warm water over your body and it's just dribbling down. Sometimes they say it's like hot fudge, it's just dribbling down. Let's do two more. And your exhale is soft and smooth and not very noisy at all, but your inhale can be quite noisy. And then once you're done, Sit in that softness and just explore your body. Did you succeed in softening everything? I can tell you right now that not everything is soft. Not everything can be soft. We're still in a chair. So take a little journey around your body and see what is still alive and energized. And now begin to breathe smoothly, a little bit longer. You can flutter, open your eyes like butterflies. Smile your face a little bit. Wiggle out, take some finger curls, some wrist curls, some ankle curls. We did a little bit of ankle work yesterday, so you might have Lower ankles stretch like a cat, pendiculate. That's what it's called when animals do it. It's called pendiculation. We're just not very good at it. We have to practice it and give it the name yoga. We're stretching. And now extend your legs in front of you. Inhale your arms overhead. We'll do a nice, slow sun salute. Inhale your hands overhead, fingers touch, and then exhale. Big dive forward. You can come to the front of your chair here. It will take a little while to figure out where you need to be. Inhale, halfway lift. So instead of the spine parallel to the floor, the head is reaching towards the corner where the ceiling meets the wall. Lengthening your spine. Exhale, fold. This is a variation of a traditional sun salute. Inhale, pull your right knee in. This is a variation of wind relieving pose. Exhale, forehead towards knee. This is a variation of arrow pose. Inhale, long spine. Compress your knee, lengthen your spine. Come back to neutral seated pose. Ankles under knees, that's where we started out. Feet on your knees and then inhale your belly button forward. Cow pose. Exhale your belly button back, cat pose. And now other side, inhale your left knee up. Exhale, round your spine, slowly and carefully beginning to warm everything up. It's five o'clock here in New Brunswick, so it's a little bit of a different time than it was there. Exhale your feet in front of you and forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Big exhale, full exhale, forward fold. Inhale our way up. Exhale, neutral. Let's move a little faster. We do have a new person today. Normally I go slower, but it's Jasmine. She's a yoga teacher trainer in, teacher in training. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, half lift. 
Use some arm muscle length in your spine. Exhale, fold. We're doing the left side now. So inhale your left knee up, wind relieving pose. Exhale, forehead towards knee. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, neutral pose. Inhale, belly button forward, cow pose. Lift your chin, feel the tugging in your throat. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, curl. Inhale, long spine. Back to our forward fold. Extend your legs, forward fold. Nice big spine extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, neutral. Okay, let's do our variation with I had a problem taking off my sweater this morning. I got my headphone caught in it. Let's do our variation with our lunges. Okay, this is my favorite variation. It's very similar. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Tell me if I'm going too fast. Inhale, either your right knee up or lunge to the right. Your bum cheek can still be on your chair. Mine is. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, drop down. So as stretch. Tuck your pelvis a little bit for maximum so as stretch. And then big inhale, lengthen your spine. Here's something different. Keep your knees apart here. I put my hands on my knees. Big inhale, cow pose. Big exhale, cat pose. I felt so much improvement since I've been started to have this wide-legged variation. Okay, now you can pull your left knee in or you can lunge to the left. Stick your right leg out behind you and lunge. Use your chair, hold on to it. Big inhale, exhale, dip down. Go down as far as you can or stay on your chair as you like. Tilt your pelvis a tiny bit and then big inhale. We're all going to a forward fold. Extend your legs in front and forward fold. And remember, it doesn't matter how fast or slow you go. Your breath does not have to be the same as mine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Are you feeling better already? Movement is medicine. Exhale, neutral. Even a small amount of movement is medicine. Inhale, overhead. We're doing the left side. Exhale, full. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and rest. Either left knee up or take your lunge. I'm going to come right off my chair this time. Exhale, drop down. I still have my left hand on my chair to support. Big inhale. Exhale, come to center. Hands on knees if you like. Big inhale, cow pose. It's kind of like a variation of goddess. Exhale, cat pose. But my adductors have really, really been great since I started doing that. We're turning right. Pull your right knee up or turn to your right. Lunge. Exhale, drop down. Big inhale. Everybody's forward folding. So gracefully back in your chair. Extend your legs. Extend your breath for this. Big exhale. Inhale, half lift. Beautiful, everyone. Exhale, fold. And up we go to long spine. Exhale, long supported spine, belly in. Okay, moving to our third variation, which is half on, half off the chair. Stand in front of your chair, just a little bit in front. And here we go, inhale overhead. Exhale, fold, place your hands on the chair. You can step back if you wanna do a full forward fold, so your hands can still be on the chair. Inhale, half lift. This is a really nice way to do half lift. Exhale, fold. We're working the right side here. So step your right foot back. 
Exhale, drop back. Push, push, push into your back heel on the exhale. Beautiful calf stretch. Deeply inhale. Exhale. Firm grip on your chair. Step back, put your feet together, and exhale, downward facing dog on your chair. Such a nice pose for the armpits and shoulders. Inhale, you can either ripple forward into upward facing dog or just do half lift. Most of you know that. And then exhale back. You got to be careful that your chair doesn't move. We're working the right side. So the right foot comes forward. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale. Push into your left heel. Deeply inhale. And then we're all forward folding. Step your foot forward, forward fold. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Release your chair and come on up. Exhale, neutral. My massage therapist recently told me that my glutes are asleep. So I'm trying to come up with my glutes. Inhale, overhead. I always knew my ass was sleeping. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full. We're working the left side this time. So step back with your left foot. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Into your left Achilles tendon, left calf. Bring your focus and attention. Deeply inhale. Exhale. Step back with your right foot. Downward facing dog on the chair. Spread your fingers. Use your chair. Inhale, if you don't want to ripple all the way forward, just lift your chest or ripple forward into upward facing dog and then exhale, ripple back into downward facing dog. Beautiful stretch. Working the left foot still, finishing up this side, step your left foot forward, deeply inhale. Deeply exhale, right calf. Big inhale. Step your right foot forward, take a forward fold. I just readjust myself a little bit to get the right distance from the chair. Inhale, half lift. Use your belly for this half lift. Tone your belly. Digestive health, it's all about the tone belly. Exhale, fold. Tone your belly again and use your butt if you're me. Inhale, up. Exhale, neutral. Beautiful. So that's our third variation. So you can stick with that variation or you can go back to any of the variations that we started with, or you can do it standing if you wanna come off your chair altogether. Here we go, inhale, overhead. Lift your chest to the ceiling, tone your belly, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, use your hands on your leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Exhale, drop down, really working that right toe up. Tuck your pelvis a tiny bit. Big inhale. We're going to an actual down dog here. Spread your fingers on the floor or the chair or wherever you are. Come into your resting pose, downward dog or neutral pose. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog or cat pose. Right foot, if you're standing, comes between your right hands. I mean your hands. <laughs> so left foot if you're still in the chair. Exhale, drop down. Big inhale. Exhale, step your left foot to your right and fold. Big inhale, half lift, spine comes parallel to the floor. Use your arm muscles and then fold. Use your arm muscles again and then use your butt and your belly. Up we come. Exhale, neutral. Last side, here we go. Inhale, overhead. Lift your chest to the ceiling because we're getting good at this. Exhale, fold, body's getting warm. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back with your left foot or snuggle your left foot in if you're seated. Exhale, drop down, tuck your pelvis, work your left psoas. Big inhale, long spine. Exhale, neutral pose, down dog or neutral pose in the chair. Ripple forward, upward facing dog or cow pose. Exhale, cat pose or down dog. If you're in the chair, your right foot's coming up, but on the floor, left foot comes forward. Work that lunge now, take some breath. Drop down, especially on the exhale. Tuck your pelvis, lengthen your psoas. Juice it up. One more breath. Exhale, everyone forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, neutral pose. Take a breath. Favor neutral pose. How soft can you be here in mountain pose? What can you let go and what do you need to keep energized? Spread your toes on the floor, flutter your eyes open, grab your chair, you can either sit back down in it or hold on to it. And we'll do chair, we'll do tree pose. So if you're sitting down and you don't want to do tree, you can do, you know, figure four pose where you bring your foot up on your knee. You're standing beside your chair. We've done this lot. Settle onto your inside foot. Take your outside foot and swirl it around, oops, I'm hitting the door. Swirl it around, juicing up that outside hip. And then bring it somewhere on your leg. Where's that going to be? Down low, up high? Where's it gonna be today? You decide. You can let go of your chair. If you like, find your gazing point, a little bit in front of you, and then right up the center. Push your foot into your leg, your leg into your foot. Lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Feel that energy, nervous system work. Balancing work is nervous system work. Feel your toes kind of grabbing the floor. That's your nervous system going, I'm gonna fall over, I'm gonna fall over. Hold your balance in your belly. Take one more breath. Now we'd like to make ourselves fall just to keep our nervous system on its toes and humble. So close your eyes or lift your gaze to the ceiling or both. If you still aren't falling, move your arms around until you fall. Take a step and then gracefully come back. It's all about the graceful return. Stand in mountain. That graceful return just teaches our nervous system that we can fall over and we'll be fine. Come to the other side of your chair. Settle your inside foot. Spread your toes on the floor. Point your toes directly towards me. And then your outside hip gets juiced up. And just notice any difference in your outside and your inside hip. You, you'll feel different. And then bring the inside or the sole of your foot to the inside of your leg, either down low or up high, just depending what you wanna to work today, depending how you feel. Settle your foot into the floor, zip up your belly, push your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot, lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling, find some arms of some kind, find your gazing point in front of you. And just breathe in gratitude for the breath, the nervous system, the ability to balance. Take a few breaths here. Feel the wiggles. Those wiggles are awesome. Those wiggles are what you want. 
those wiggles are your body self-correcting, your body balancing. That's what you want. Take a few more breaths. If you're not wiggling at all, bring your eyes towards the ceiling or close them. And then eventually make yourself fall. So when your ankles start to get kind of tired, make yourself fall. You can hold on to your chair when you do that and then step back into mountain pose. Gracefully, let your shoulders fall. Just practice that new normal. With every asana, we teach our body and our nervous system a new way to be. And then each time we need to settle and rest and let them just rest and fall into that pattern because otherwise we will, well, even, anyway, even though you do rest, you'll still fall out of the pattern. That's why we have to keep practicing every day. Find your chair, find that forward position. We'll take a few little twists right now. So let's bring our knees over to the left and face your body towards me and then inhale your arms towards the sky. Exhale, twist away from your legs. You can put one hand on your legs or you can use your both hands on your chair. Depends on your chair. I don't know what's happening with my rocking chair here. Keep your legs as far to the left as you can. Use your arms on your chair and your legs to rotate. And when you get twisted around as far as you can go, deeply inhale, deeply exhale. Each time you inhale, grow your crown of your head towards the ceiling. Each time you exhale, take a tiny, tiny bit more twist. Deeply inhale, feel it. Deeply exhale, do it. Last one. Deeply inhale. Exhale. Where do you feel the twist? Do you feel it in your digestive system? Come back towards center. Keep your body moving. Just keep it moving all the way to the left. Take a little counter twist to the left and then let your legs come over to the right. Just walk them over. My feet are up on Barbie toes here. So it's like I'm wearing high heels, but that's just because my feet are that distance from the floor. You can do that. Or if you have your feet flat on the floor, that's awesome too. Face me with your chest, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, twist away from your legs, towards the left. And remember, this is a journey. So every time you inhale, it's a fresh start. Lengthen your spine, exhale, twist. Deeply inhale, lengthen. Deeply exhale, pull your belly button back. Last one. My right hand is pushing my knees towards the right so hard. Exhale. Inhale, release. Just let your fascia and your muscles and everything pull you back around and take that tiny little counter pose to the right. Come back to center, bring your legs back to neutral, put your hands on your knees, take a breath in neutral. Notice anything different in your breath, in your belly. Notice your heartbeat. Take a couple of leg poses. So let's go into warrior two. Open your left leg wide and stick your right leg out long. See if you can find all 10 of your toes on the floor. So my bum is still on the chair. So my bum is stuck out a little bit. It depends on the type of chair. The type of chair that Jasmine has will be pretty easy because you can just be slid under here. But if you have a big chair or a couch, your legs tend to be forward a little bit, but that's totally fine. Inhale your arms up parallel to the floor. Look over your left arm. Take a breath. Let's do a little bit of arm movement here. Remember how we push into the floor and lift our arm fingers to touch. So even though we're on the chair, pushing in, taking the weight off of our bum and then exhale down and then the bum goes back down onto the chair with its full weight. Inhale, push into your feet. 
And then exhale, drop down onto the chair. If you're standing for this, you can come up a little bit. Exhale down. Take your left arm, place it either on the arm of the chair or on your bent left leg. Swap your right arm around and come into big, long angle pose, side angle pose. Reach your right fingertips away from your right toes as if I was pulling, as if I could come through Zoom and pull on your right fingertips. Really pull. Feel it in the hip, the toe, the fascia of your leg, the side body here. One more breath. Come back to center into goddess pose. So just sneak your right leg in. Take your hands to your knees. Drop your shoulders one at a time towards opposite feet, just like we do. Kind of that little goddess vinyasa. Drop your right shoulder towards your left ankle. My hands are on my knees. My fingers are heavy and solid and strong. One more each side. Other side. Come back up to center. Now our feet are already ready for warrior. So your right leg is going to stay bent. Extend your left. Lift and spread all 10 of your toes. Before you move up to your upper body, get your low body settled. Lean your toes into the floor. Lift your arms up parallel to the floor. Take a breath. Look over your front arm. Be a warrior. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale. Such a strong pose. Let's make it even stronger. Inhale, push into the floor. Up a little bit. Exhale, drop down. I am not moving much. Maybe a millimeter. Inhale up. Exhale down. But there is a change of weight in my feet and on my bum on the chair. Inhale up. Push into the floor. Actually, my carpet's moving. I'm pushing so hard. Exhale down. Fold that right arm either onto the arm of your chair or onto your leg. Swing your left arm around into a big, long diagonal line, side angle pose. Stretch your left fingertips away from your left toe. You can look at your left fingertips if you like. Deeply breathe. When you deeply breathe, direct your breath into wherever feels tight in that big, long line, my hip. Feels tight, my left hip. I'm breathing into that. You may feel some tightness in your left ribs. You may feel tightness in your left foot. Last breath. Inhale up. Come back to goddess pose. Place your hands on the inside of your knees. Push away with your arms. Really use your arm muscles here. This is isometric stretching, isometric work. Push your knees towards each other. Don't let them win. Keep pushing back with your arms. Push, push, push. Using tricep muscles. Spread your toes on the floor. Push your knees towards each other. Don't let them win. Don't let them win now. Begin to let them win. Walk your feet together just slowly. Let them win. Still pushing though. Still pushing out with your hands. Feet come together. Inhale your arms overhead. Extend your feet. And forward fold. Let everything release and relax in your forward fold. Let your shoulders hang towards the floor or your legs. Your legs can be bent as well or straight if you're looking for flexibility. And remember, if you're trying to be flexible in the back of your legs, flex your feet a little. If you'd rather be working on the front of your legs, let your toes move forward a little. Take one more breath cycle. Soften everything. Gently, gently come back up. Re-establish yourself on your chair. Let's do the chair walking. We haven't done that in a while. So walk your way back to the back of your chair with your bum. 
See if you can not use your arms. I tend to use my arms. Now walk forward all the way to the edge. I've got my arms overhead so that I don't use them. And then walk back. Take as big steps as you can with your bum. All the way back, that's not very big. All the way back till your knees are at the back of your chair. One last time, walk forward. Deepen your breath and now walk back. Shake it out, shake out your arms, shake out your legs, letter kick, one leg and then the other. And then bring your right foot up onto your left leg for figure four. Take a couple of ankle circles. You can interlace your fingers through your toes if you like, or just hold on to your foot. Take a few good circles in both directions. And then place your right hand on your right knee. Inhale your chest high. You should even feel that as you push your bum bones into your chair and inhale your chest high. You'll feel something probably in your right hip. And then exhale your chest towards your shin. And remember that we have three directions that we fold here in. So let's explore those three directions. Now that we're forward, move your chest towards your knee. And then back through center and the chest goes towards your leg. And be very careful with this. We're moving the hip in the hip joint. Be subtle and careful. A few more. Just sweeping side to side. Come back to center. Deepen a little bit. And then release your head. If you've been holding anything, release everything. Release your shoulders, release your head. Just slump over your leg for one breath. And then gently come back up. Let her kick that leg out. Place it on the ground. Make your figure four with the other leg. Do the same thing on this side. Nice shoulder car, sorry, shoulder cars, ankle cars. Controlled articular rotation of your ankle joint. Nice and slow. Carefully going into all the corners of your range of movement. And when you're done, settle your right foot on the floor. Right hand on your left foot. Left hand on your knee. Inhale, lift. Push into your chair. This is a pose right here. Root to rise, root your bum, exhale, forward fold, chest towards your shin. Once you almost get there, once you're at sort of the bottom where you begin to feel tugging, begin to slide your chest towards your knee and your foot and your knee. Don't hold your breath, lengthen your breath to your foot. One more time, either side. This is a small movement. It might even just be a centimeter. Come back to center. Deepen a little. And then release everything. Release your shoulders. Release your neck. Fall forward. Come on up nice and slow. Let her kick that left leg out. Come back to neutral pose. Hands on your knees. Take one more breath. Let's do one more shoulder stretch before we go. Inhale your arms overhead. Face your palms towards me. Let's do a bit of climbing here. Reach your right hand towards the ceiling as if you're lifting your right bum cheek off. And then your left hand towards the ceiling. If you have arms on your chair, you can help. You can hold on to the arm and see if you can get your other arm up even higher. You can also bring your hand down to the chair and push. And then the other side, reach like you're going for the top shelf. Top, top shelf, lift your other bum cheek off. 
And then finally come back to neutral. Take a couple of kayaks. So kayak your shoulders, nice shoulder circles backward and forward. Take a couple of coffee grinders here. Just put your hands on your knees. Just feel like we've done a little bit in our in our ribs and we need to work them out. So rotate your ribs around in a couple of big circles. And then make your way to the back of your chair so that you feel the front edge of your chair behind your knees. Either place your hands on the arms. You could come to rest along the back of the chair if you like. I don't really like that. I like to sit up straight. Place your ankles underneath your knees. Spread your toes on the floor. And remember that gravity that we explored at the beginning of class. Just let gravity take you. Eventually you get used to what you have to keep energized. And the rest of your body can just be taken by gravity. This is a profound act for the nervous system. An act of release an act of surrender. We cannot fight gravity. It is the biggest force on earth and it also keeps us alive. We can just work with it. So with each exhale, surrender a little bit to gravity. Soften, bum muscles, leg muscles, knees, toes, ankles. Release the muscles all around your ribs, your intercostals, those tiny little muscles. Let them all be soft. Soften your shoulders, your neck, your face. Release your lips, your tongue. Soften the bridge of your eye, the bridge of your eyes, bridge of your nose. The eye sockets, release them. Release your right eyebrow and your left eyebrow and slide them apart. Just slide them apart if you need to. Widen your forehead to do that. And then feel the breath breathing your entire body. Just a soft little balloon. See if you can find any more tension in your body anywhere. Fingers, toes, neck, breathe it out. And then begin to make your way back. Softly open your eyes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Rotate your wrists. Make some Barbie feet with your ankles. Roll your neck around. You can even stick your tongue out or drop your jaw. We haven't done that for a while. I'll do some lion's breath tomorrow. Roll your shoulders. Smile your face open. Thanks for joining me. Daily yoga moment, everyone. Nice to see everyone back in Vancouver. And I'll be back again tomorrow. So awesome to see you, Jasmine.